Uh, Maximus Musicus is an adventurous mouse um, that visits the concert hall. It appeared first in the book Maximus Musicus Visits the Orchestra that was published in Iceland in 2008. And uh, it was accompanied with a CD where the music that was presented in a story uh, was performed by the Icelandic Symphony, Iceland Symphony Orchestra and narrated. So, uh, that came very well out and was very popular. It was the second most sold book in Iceland that year. And uh, around the same time, the Iceland Symphony Orchestra performed a concert program based on the book. This was in uh, May 2008. And uh, the concert was very popular as well. It was sold out many times and they added many extra concerts because it was so popular. Um, the book was written by Hallfríður Ólafsdóttir and uh, the illustrations were made by Thorarin Maur Baldursson and both of them are players in the Iceland Symphony Orchestra. She plays the flute and he plays the viola. Uh, by the end of 2008 or so, Hallfríður uh, asked me to join her in um, developing products based on Maximus Musicus and uh, exporting the idea to other countries. Um, that was quite quickly rather successful. Um, the book has already been published in the Faroe Islands and the Faroe Island Symphony Orchestra has performed the concert program of Maximus Musicus. I think it's called Magnus in the Faroe Islands. And uh, it's been published in South Korea as well. And uh, this August there was a concert program performance in the Concertgebouw in Amsterdam, which is one of the most respected concert halls in the world. And in October this year, uh, the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra will perform a concert program as well, and the book will be published in Australia and all German-speaking countries this fall as well. Our main target group are children uh, aged 3 to 9, but uh, we also hope that we reach the parents because the main goal of Maximus Musicus is presenting music to children and uh, it's been sort of a side target group are the parents. The Iceland uh, Innovation Centre has been very supportive to us uh, in the progress. We've been able to um, get advice from fantastic people around here and we've been supported financially as well. And uh, we also got a desk at the incubation centre in Hafnafjörður and that has been actually very good in many sense. Uh, it's both provided us an office away from home, so instead of sitting by your computer in your bedroom or your living room, um, you're able to, to go somewhere, go to work and do your work. And uh, it's also been good to, to work with and alongside other inventors or people who are starting the companies. Um, we, we were also quite lucky because there was a, a new Icelandic computer game company that was based in the same place. And uh, I approached them and asked them if they were willing to think about developing a computer game based on Maximus Musicus, and which they were and they put aside all of their projects and, and took a primary focus on Maximus Musicus which was very good and uh, we believe that the iPhone application, Maximus Musicus iPhone application uh, will be ready in only a few days time. So I can't complain about that. You could say that the, the financial environment that could be stronger I would say um, we have a very good fund which is uh, supported to technical ideas, the Technifrankvandarsjóður, the, the technical fund, I think it is something like that. And, uh, but that's quite, or so far they have been only supporting technical ideas. Um, we need more money in other fields, I would say, especially where the arts are, there are only minor uh, the more artistic the idea is, the, the less money there is. <laughs>
our future vision is seeing Maximus Musicus as a, a character persona that people all around the world relate to music to and that they trust this character to to introduce to them music in a fun and uh, interesting way.